Hey YouTube, this is Alexander and today I'm going to be giving you some tips and showing you how my Nexus 4 is set up to conserve battery life. So let's get started. Okay, so first up on the list is to turn down the brightness. Now many of us already know this, but the lower the brightness, the less power your device is going to have to consume. It'll also help by keeping your battery cool if you have your device screen on for long durations of time. Next up is Wi-Fi optimization or Wi-Fi settings. Now you can get here by navigating to your Android's Wi-Fi in the settings, clicking Wi-Fi and then clicking the menu button and you'll see two options. One that says avoid poor connections, which I always have checked. Then the next one is Wi-Fi optimization. Just click that and that'll reduce the amount of battery that the Wi-Fi uses while it's on Wi-Fi. Now the next one is in the language and keyboard area or language and input. Go to wherever you have your keyboards. It should be somewhere in the settings language and input or language and keyboard and then click the menu button next to your main keyboard that you use. Now you'll see a list of options and turning off vibrate while on key press is one that I have unchecked. I noticed that after I've done this using the keyboard so much it actually has had an impact on how much battery life I use because it doesn't have to continue to turn on that little vibrator inside the phone every time I make a key press. Now the next one, you can get to this one by navigating to the maps, then hitting the settings or menu button, going into the location, and then location reporting. Now if you have this set to do not update, no further action is necessary, but if you do not, I would put it to do not update unless you share your location uh, with other people. Now this won't prevent your apps from updating your location if you need them to, such as weather apps, so don't worry. Now the next one involves Google Now. Disabling Google Now altogether, I noticed, has helped my battery life throughout the day. Um, many of you can't afford to do that though, so what I would suggest is to go into All Cards, the card section, and disabling select cards that you don't use will reduce the amount of background processes or background data it needs to use to retrieve those cards and information for you. Also, in the setting, you'll see Hot Word Detection. I noticed that even though it's so small, it did save battery life to have hot word detection unchecked. Now we'll just get to wrapping this up with a couple more. Um, going into your settings and then your Google settings or your account settings um, and turning off anything that you don't need synced. For example, I don't have current synced. I don't have Google Play Music. Um, certain things I don't have and then when I do need them to be synced, I just go simply into the settings and then turn them on, let them sync and then turn them back off. Now another thing I've noticed is going down into the developer options and if you don't have that there then you don't need to worry about this but going into the settings, scrolling down to developer options and just going to force GPU rendering. Uh, if you turn that off or you just altogether turn off developer settings or options uh, that should also help conserve battery life. The force GPU rendering will allow for smoother animations where it is necessary, where it is needed. Um, but it can also kind of tax the battery life in that way. Okay, so the second to last one is to manage any apps that work in the background or have to use data. Whenever you install an app, you always see the permissions that the app needs. If it uh, asks about background data or not letting your device sleep, always be cautious of, of what it's actually going to be doing uh, for that to run. Last one is get an app, something like Battery Widget Reborn, I would suggest. Um, because apps like that will allow you to monitor your battery closely um, and they also in Battery Widget Reborn's case allow you to put a night mode so if I wanted to I can turn my device certain connections on or off um, during the night while I sleep. Okay so that wraps up uh, my battery life tips video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe down there for more and uh, let me know what you think about these tips and if there are any that I missed or that you used that I didn't mention for others to see. Thanks for watching again, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.